Innkeeper Olaf. What do you want? Give me a beer. Your kind's not welcome here. I said I wanted a beer. We have no more. Very well. I'll see what I have. Good man. <laughs> I Everyone drink up. That was We're meant closing. to say that Geralt was Innkeeper. staring at him again, or glaring. I'll get angry. Wouldn't want that. But his Would facial you? expression didn't no. appear to change. All right. I'll just tend to my business and be on my way. What can I do for you? Hmm? I'm looking for someone who stayed at this inn. Look around the tables. But at night, guests retire to their rooms. Return tomorrow if you must talk to them. All right. I'll look around. What can I do for you? Okay. Um... Why the gloom? I don't talk to strangers. Do you for five orans? <laughs> for that, I talk to a bar guest all day. I don't have five orans. <sighs> I barely have five orans. The plague was devastating. People died in droves. The wailing lingered for three moons. If not for the Reverend, we'd all have perished. No wonder we're wary of strangers. You don't know what it's like when the plague takes your family. The Reverend prayed all day to the Eternal Fire, taking no sustenance. His penance freed us from sin and strengthened our faith. We began by cleansing our homes of sin and filth. We gathered it up, and by the next day, all our foulness was buried or gone. The Reverend then spoke to all who remained. You have done well cleansing your households of sin. I know it was difficult, I know they be kin, but the eternal fire sent pestilence on them as punishment for their sins. Please. You are pure, you shall live. And we believed him, then went outside. The frost was biting, but we did our penance, crawling round the village, praying at the five chapels. The next day chapels? the village was quiet, as there if all were asleep. Fewer have shots. fallen sick since. An edifying tale. Thanks. Okay, so... I haven't learned anything from talking to the named people. These people are fighting again. I'm gonna to talk to the wimpy one. Oh, hey, he is, he is a name, but I wanna to talk to the wimpy one. Wanna fight? Got any money? No. No, I don't have money. Farewell. I can't even fight the... Little Whoa! Some tournament the going innkeeper? on. We beat each other for or coin. His twin? Interesting. Fat Fred will rearrange your face. Just show me your gold. How much? Twenty-five orans. <sighs> Tell me about this tournament. Rules are simple. Punch each other in the face. Last man standing wins. Rules I like. Simple and specific. 25 orans. I don't have 25 orans. I don't have 25 orans. Mm, I should have stolen stuff. <laughs> okay, oh, hey, Shani. Did you want to ask me something? Where's Alvin? Abigail, a local soothsayer, offered to care for him. Yeah, we know that much. I hope I did right in trusting the boy to her. She seems strange. I'll look in on them. Thanks, Geralt. And we'll that's speak all later. we got. Okay. Antiquary. Hello. I'm forced to sell my goods out here. Bad luck. I can't enter the city either. Want to buy something? Rob me in broad daylight. Go ahead. What are you peddling? My life. <laughs> oh, books. Very expensive books. <sighs> Nothing for me. Wait, hold on. I had a couple scrolls in my inventory, didn't I? Ooh, but I like... That, that's a potion ingredient thingy. Ah! I learned things. Okay, I guess I can sell those now. And then I think I've already read all of these. Let's check just to make sure. And ooh, what are these? Con oh, contracts. Okay, let's not sell him the contracts. 
<laughs> New quest out of that. I guess I do need to read those. Ayo. I'm forced to. Yes, that's that's terrible. Um, would you like these? I've already used. Them. What? Double click. There we go. Yep. And the. Yep. All right. Now I have enough gold to beat people up. Uh, Probably shouldn't put that anti-witcher pam pl pamphlet back into circulation, but I need the money. Who knows when I might get my next payment, I guess. But we do have these contracts, and now we know that they actually can show up as quests. So, definitely could hunt some bar guests. We know where those are. Let's go for it. We also saw some drowners earlier, but I was terrified of them. Oh, hey, it's daylight now. I, I wonder if Abigail's done with the... Who's this? The whatever it is. I did level up recently, didn't I? I probably just needed to meditate, and then I would have had the points to put into herbalism. Ah, oh well. I do really enjoy that the stuff doesn't disappear when you finish reading it. I like that you can sell the book afterwards. That is really nice. You'd think it would be standard that books wouldn't fall to pieces in your hands. What do you want? My potion. Is the potion ready? Yes. Alvin, drink this. Tastes bitter. No complaining. Now, speak. Abigail, I'm afraid. Why'd they skin the puppy? Why'd they hurt him? He was gentle. He hurt no one. And the girl from outside the village, she screamed horribly. Unlike any human. Bad children torturing the witch's puppy again. Oh, jeez. Innocent blood. Evil faces twisted by drink and desire. Plow her well. Oh, Show me jeez. man. Bloodstained gold. The beast is born. The beast was the witch's puppy? Death. The final judgment. The beast has met its end once. It doesn't fear death. It is death. How will you defeat human villainy? With your sword? You who died and still walk amongst the living. Huh? Who is summoning me? Enough. This could end badly. Abigail, break the trance. As you wish. By the power of the seven spheres, leave this body. I compel you. Be gone. Oh, I'm sleepy. Hmm. Alvin, go to bed. Geralt, another witcher, Berengar, preceded you. He left these missives. Thanks. Farewell. Before he chickened out and ran off. Uh, I also noticed some other things that what do I you could want? ask her. I found your notice. I found your notice. Excellent. Do you have the Bargast skulls? I do. I do. They're yours for a oh, price. Oh, nice. I didn't even have to go hunt Bargast. Manage it and take this mandrake root. You might find it useful. Can I ask you something? If you must. Do you have any magic against phantom hounds? Not that it much matters what about anymore. your sword? I heard witchers carry two. A silver blade for monsters and steel for humans. Both I don't remember that monsters. actually being in the books. Fortunately, I lack the silver one. I know of an ointment. When it coats your blade, you'll cause grievous harm even to specters. The formula will cost you 30 orans. Yeah. Maybe another yeah, thank time. Thank you. I'm currently you being want? really tight fisted about my money. Can I ask you something? If you must. I see you took Alvin in. It's not really Did question. you think I'd abandon an orphan? Besides, he has potential. What do you mean? He has powers perhaps beyond his control. For now, he sleeps well with the herbs I brew him. That's good of you. Few in these times would be willing. It's another mouth to feed. With winter approaching, if I grow hungry, I'll eat him. 
<laughs> Doubtless the villagers think so, believing me a monster. Are you one, Abigail? We all hide a monster inside us. See you later. You're an interesting character. I like you. Oh, I interrupted the really upbeat music. Wow, that was a pretty sky. For the brief moment I got to see it. Alright, uh, let's re-enable this quest. Cool. And then afterwards we can do Drowner Star. Okay, wrong direction again. Who would have guessed? 